how I created this model brown. Okay, so if you are a makeup junkie like me, who is always on Instagram and always following artists and models, I am pretty sure that you have noticed that the trend in eyebrows lately is yung mga bushy and feathery and natural eyebrows. Gone are the days when eyebrows are super thin and plucked. Kung papansin natin sa mga photo shoot abroad ng mga models and even mga artists locally, ganito yung eyebrows na talaga namang ginagawa nila. I am very thankful for that kasi wala na yung trend na sobrang nipis ng kilay. I'm not really into thin eyebrows. I don't know. Maybe for me kasi kapag makapal ang kilay ng isang babae at makapal ang lashes, doon gumaganda yung features ng kanyang muka. And so, with my curiosity, kung paano ba ginagawa ng mga professional makeup artist yung ganitong klase ng kilay, I did my research and I get to discover the strategy on how to make this kind of model brows. For that, I will also introduce to you two products that I have been enjoying lately. And I can say na talagang perfect siya kung gusto mong gawin yung ganitong klase ng kilay. The product that I'm talking about is the Brow Natural. It is an eyebrow soap. And of course, the Happy Skin's Perfect Brow. This is a long-lasting liquid pen. I think this one is included uh, with Katrine's makeup line in collaboration with Happy Skin. I discovered it when I watched uh, Rita Daniela on her collab with Riza Kontawi. Ito talaga yung usual na ginagamit niya. So, I got curious and get one for me. And I can say na talagang maganda itong eyebrow pen na to. So, I think I should stop chatting right now and start doing the tutorial on how to do this kind of model brows. Okay, so as you can see, I have removed the products that I have on my eyebrows a while ago. And then, let me just zoom you in so you can see better kung paano natin gagawin yung model brows. First things first, let's get our brow soap. Actually, sa ibang bansa, ang ginagamit nila ay clear glycerin soap lang. I can say na siguro clear glycerin soap lang din itong product na ito. But it's okay kasi sabi niya specialized daw siya para sa brow. Because they actually included cocoa butter and castor oil. As we know, castor oil is very good in promoting uh, hair growth, lalo na sa kilay natin. Actually, itong kilay ko nga, kumapal-kapal na siya because I am always putting on some castor oil kapag ka matutulog na ako. So yun, I can say that you can use regular glycerin soap naman kung meron kang makikita sa supermarket. Just make sure that you use a clear glycerin soap Kasi kapag ka yung regular soap, yung mga white na soap na meron tayo sa grocery, mag-iiwan siya ng puting uh, cast sa kilay natin. And we don't want that kasi we want our kilay to be very much natural. Okay, sabi dito sa Brow Natural, meron siyang instruction na included sa package. You have two choices on how to wet this product. First is... You can wet the product directly by misting some facial mist. Any facial mist that you have. Lalo na ngayon, usong -uso yung mga facial mist. Like aloe vera mist, rose water mist. But as for me, di ba yung mga mist na yan ay meron ding moisturizing agents. Kaya siguro hindi siya ganun kaganda kung gagamitin mo ito sa brow soap. Kasi nga... May tendency na hindi siya tumigas sa ating brow at hindi matim yung eyebrow strands natin. So, this is the product. As you can see, medyo rough na siya kasi ginagamit ko na nga siya lately. Personal choice ng pagbabasa nitong Brow Natural is by water. Package included yung dalawang spoolie and what I usually do is binibend ko siya ng konti para mas madali siyang gamitin during the application and then kukuha ko ng water so yan babasain ko lang yung 
spooly. Just make sure that there is enough amount of water doon sa spooly and just rub the spooly doon sa product. Okay, so this is my eyebrow without any product. You can see I already have enough product on my spoolie. Hindi ganon kadami kasi I don't want the soap to froth. Okay, so it depends on your desired direction. But as for me, gumagawa tayo ngayon ng model brows. If you would notice, yung eyebrows nila ay brushed upward. So, yan. Apply lang natin yung brow soap. It's just like I'm spreading my eyebrow strands upwards para mas magmukha siyang makapal. Oh, there you have it. I think I will stop there and just let the soap set. Intayin ko lang siyang matuyo, but while waiting, I'm going to work on my left eyebrow. Same procedure, just get your water, wet your spoolie, and then get some product. So, I have enough product right now. Same thing. I will apply it on my eyebrows on an upward motion. So, yan. As you can see, medyo may konting froth, but it's okay kasi kapag nag-dry up yung soap, ay magiging clear din yan. Ganyan na medyo basa pa yung eyebrow soap, pwede mo pang ma-shape yung eyebrows mo into your desired shape. So, as for me, gusto ko pa na medyo spiky yung eyebrows ko para mas mukha siyang feathery. Yeah. Let's just wait for it to dry. I speed up natin yung drying process. Paypayan na natin yan para mas mabilis. Actually, yung mga ibang artists nakikita ko nga, hindi na nila fill in yung sparse area dun sa eyebrows nila after nilang maglagay ng brow soap. Kasi gusto nga nila yung super natural talaga. But as for me, I would like my eyebrows to be more framed up para mas maganda. So yan, mafe-feel ko na nagsaset na siya sa aking eyebrows. Kasi mafe-feel mo na yung skin mo ay parang may nakapatong na mask. And then, to make it better, what I do is get the tip of my spoolie and just... So, yan. Para mas maganda yung ating eyebrows. Actually, before, I'm using eyebrow gels. Yung mga clear eyebrow gels. Kasi hindi pa naman ganong uso tong um, paggamit ng brow soap. Kasi hindi talaga ganito yung nagagawa ng mga eyebrow gels. And it makes me not that contented doon sa performance ng eyebrow gels. Kaya I search for a product na magagawa yung ganito talaga. Kasi di ba usually napapanood natin sa mga fashion week, sa Victoria's Secret, fashion shows, ang gaganda ng eyebrows nila. As in, super bushy, feathery, and parang sobrang tamed. At the same time, makapal din yung eyebrows nila. So, talagang na-curious ako kung paano ba ginagawa yun. And eh, lately, nakakapanood ako nung mga uh, GTV ng mga professional makeup artists dito sa Pilipinas. 
And nakita ko nga talagang brow soap talaga yung ginagamit nila. Yan, nafe-feel ko na medyo dry na talaga yung eyebrow soap natin. Diba, parang ngayon pa lang, ang ganda na niya. Para na siyang yung mga pang high-end photoshoots. Diba, usually sa mga photoshoot national models, diba usually ganito yung eyebrows nila. Actually, at first, I thought that I will not be able to achieve this kind of eyebrow. Kasi parang secret lang siya ng mga makeup artist. So, yan. If you would notice, there are a lot of sparse area on our eyebrows. What we will do is dyan na pumapasok itong eyebrow tint natin from Happy Skin. I'm really in love with this product. This one actually costs 399 pesos lang. And I can say na, yung sinabi nilang perfect brows, it really gives you that perfect brows kasi sobrang nipis lang nung strand nung kanyang applicator. Ayun, medyo madumi na nga siya actually kasi talagang ginagamit ko siya for almost every day. And ang ganda ng applicator niya because it is like a watercolor brush which helps you control the application fully. And then, yung tint, I can say na manipis siya sa una. At sin parang medyo colorless lang talaga. Sobrang nipis ng pigment. But, the best thing that I love in this eyebrow tint is that it is buildable. So, makakontrol mo yung shade ng kilay mo. Hindi kagaya ng mga ibang eyebrow pens na kapag uh, in-apply mo, sobrang dark ng ink. You'll end up having a dark eyebrow. So, ayaw natin yon kasi nga, as long as we can, we want to make our eyebrows very much natural. Okay, so let us now fill in the sparse area on our brows. I made sure that it is fully dried kasi kung hindi, may hirapan tayong i-apply itong eyebrow tint. Because nevertheless, hindi siya titinta. It is fully dried. Fill in na natin yung sparse siguro dito sa part na to. Let's just work our way up para masundan natin yung direction ng ating strands. So, yan. Kung mapapansin nyo, ito yung kilay na wala pang tint. Ito yung meron. Sobrang nipis lang ng pigment na nabibigay niya. But then, you just wait for it to dry and you can build up the darkness of the shade. So, yan. Iwan ko muna dyan. Side naman. After that, I can say na medyo tuyo na yung dito. I-build up natin yung color. So, yan. Napapansin nyo, medyo nagda-darken na siya. And then, what I also love with this Happy Skin's Perfect Brow, infused din siya with Shea Butter and sunflower seed oil. And as we know, talagang ang mga oils ay magaling sa pag-promote ng hair growth. So, come to think of it, if everyday you are using this, na napapromote mo rin yung growth ng iyong kilay. I'm just letting the product dry and then I will coat it with another layer of this eyebrow tint para ma-build natin yung color. So I think I'm done filling in my eyebrows. So, ganun lang kadali. That is basically the steps on how to do this model brow. about where to get this brow natural brow so you can order this on lazada this one cost me about 290 pesos i know meron din ito sa beauty manila but i think it is from other brand but it's okay because 
I'm pretty sure that it will still give the same performance kasi clear glycerin lang naman ito. And then, the Happy Skin Perfect Brow. I know Happy Skin has a lot of kiosks with Watson and SM Department Store. You can also find them on the Beauty Bar Boutiques. That's where I got my Happy Skin Perfect Brow. So, yun. Uh, pretty much the products that I have featured today is, is accessible if you want to get it and achieve this kind of brows. I hope that you have enjoyed our video today and I hope that you learned something from me and you get to discover new product that you can try later on. Okay, so I think I would like to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Please tune in on my next video. I'm very sorry, medyo natagalan yung pag-upload ng videos natin, but I am pretty sure that the next following weeks and days, I will be uploading a lot more videos because there are a lot of things that I would like to share with you.